Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Monday. Hey, baby, how you doing? I'm good. The weekend went by way too fast. You know, the weekends always go by fast. Coming up, uh, we've got something cool tomorrow, Halloween. Holy cow. I cannot believe it. it's already here. Today's the 30th. We're almost done with October. I've got Chef Neil Fusco joining me for non-GMO month. We're almost done with the month, but October is non-GMO month. He's with Cucina Antica, Neil Fusco, Chef Neil Fusco. Looking forward to chatting with him. Um, Also, uh, for our quote today, it's from Anonymous. It says, never be afraid to try something new. Remember, amateurs built the Ark, professionals built the Titanic. I'm always reminded of that. That is a good good thing to remember. Yes, it is. Um, So, there you go. And and, uh, I think... Quite often, we think that just because somebody's a professional means they can't make mistakes. That's incorrect. Professionals can make mistakes, too. And uh, that's a good, it's a good lesson. <laughs> yes, it is. We as professionals, we know what we're talking about. Coming up, we got some special things. That's on the way. John and Heidi. Are you paying a bundle to the cable company? Cut the cable and save with the all-new ChannelSurferTV.com. We've added several solutions that could save you money every month. We have dish TV options and internet TV solutions that start from just $20 a month. We even have an HD TV antenna for $30 to get the local channels with no monthly fee. Learn more at ChannelSurferTV.com. We'll do our very best to find the perfect TV solution for you. ChannelSurferTV.com. Movies and TV with a low monthly fee. That's ChannelSurferTV.com. John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. It is Tuesday. No, it is Monday. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm, I'm peeking ahead already. Uh, it is Monday, the 30th day of October. It's National Candy Corn Day. Now, I like candy corn sparingly. I mean, I can have just a little bit you, of it every year. You put a little bowl out with peanuts and candy corn, and then it tastes like a salted nut It tastes nut like roll. salted nut rolls. And that's good. That's yeah, good roasted way. peanuts and oh, uh, it's By really the way, good. tonight is mischief night as well. So I don't know if that's a good thing. Mischief night? I mean, so you're supposed to go out and get in trouble? Hmm. Don't you do that every night? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, that's what's going on today. I was sneak peeking because tomorrow we got some fun stuff. But we'll wait till tomorrow to tell you about that. This has been your special stuff to happen on this Monday. I don't think I said any of that right. <laughs> I don't think you did. Thanks either. for listening to the John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. Here's Luca from Luca's Boutique. Tell us about the items we'll find at Luca's Boutique. We have 100% Italian design and Italian made leather goods. Artisanally made by artisans, for example, that are commissioned by Gucci, Prada to make bags. We use the same artisans. We know them. You'll love the fine Italian styles at Luca's Boutique. Leather purses, belts, and more. Learn more at fineitalianstyles.com. This is Luca from Luca's Boutique, and we have fine Italian styles. Fineitalianstyles.com. John and Heidi. Coming up, we got your brain on drugs. But first, a study by the University of Beirut found that giving marijuana to fish will not reduce their stress levels. <laughs> Are fish stressed? <laughs> Apparently. I just, I'm trying to figure I out. I thought watching fish swim relaxed you. That's all they do. Shouldn't I, yeah. they be extremely relaxed? You'd think they so. They watch other fish swim all day. Uh, apparently, there were some people that got caught with marijuana in the lab, and then they said, uh, oh, no, we were putting it in the fish tank and seeing if it would make them mellow out more. <laughs> it didn't work, by the way. Pretty sure that's what happened. Again, the University of Beirut, they did a study to find that giving marijuana to a fish will not reduce their stress level. Right. I'm sure that's what you're working on. We've got your brain on drugs coming up. John and Heidi. Each day at this time, we talk about people doing dumb things under the influence, but addiction is no laughing matter. If you or someone you know needs help, there's a toll-free number you can call. 1-800-438-0380. That's the Addiction Hope and Helpline. 1-800-438-0380. And this is your brain on drugs. An unidentified woman in England died after getting her head stuck between the decorative bars in her apartment window trying to smoke. Oh, my gosh. Her daughter noted that she did not like to smoke in the house, so she would stick her head out through the top floor apartment window to, quote, grab a quick smoke. How'd her, she die? Well, her mom, she said, her daughter said that mom had been drinking and she believes that that contributed to her inability to free herself once she became stuck. 
She choked to death between the arcs of the bars. The oh, my whatever. gosh. Strangest part of all is that the daughter said that an Indian fortune teller told her that it was going to happen. So mm. that is just bizarre. If you'd like to read the story, I've got a link to that because, uh, I mean, who doesn't want to Maybe this that? Indian fortune teller killed her and he's just trying to drum up business. Oh, that could be. See, I told you that was going to happen. I was right. See? <laughs> I knew. And I don't know if it was a he or a she, but yeah, either way. I've got a link to it at Facebook.com slash John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, from the little screen, CNN. Host Don Lemon was crying on the air last Monday, so a week ago. I was just kind of getting caught up on all my uh, big screen, little screen news, because there's been so much stuff that I don't even want to read. What was he crying about? I don't know, but they said he was crying on TV, and people have been making fun of him. Don't make fun of him. I cry on the radio all the time, so... Yeah, you do. Uh, Tanya Harding has become one of the most notorious figures in pop culture because of her involvement in the physical attack on Nancy <laughs> Kerrigan. Remember all that? I remember that like Back it was in yesterday. Ni- 1994 Olympics. I cannot believe it was that long ago. It does seem like it was does seems does seem like it was just the other day. Well, there's now a story uh, on that's going to be on TV. There's a movie debuting in theater, so not on TV on the big screen. The movies that story is finally being made into a movie. That's what I was trying to say that whole time. The film will star Margot Robbie as Tanya Harding. It's going to be in theaters December the 8th. I have a link to the trailer, and she looks like her. Huh. I mean, I don't know that I necessarily wanted to see this movie, but now I watch the trailer, I'm like, I kind of want to see it now. So, Back in the good old days when taking a knee meant taking a knee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <baby. laughs> I've got a link to that story at Facebook.com slash John and Heidi Show. Zarelto and Pradoxa have been linked to uncontrollable bleeding and even death. If you've been prescribed one of these drugs and have experienced these dangerous side effects, you may be entitled to substantial compensation. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. Call 800-430-8328. 800-430-8328. Drug Watch Hotline is a marketing firm that represents lawyers jointly advertising their services. By calling Drug Watch Hotline, you agree to receive calls by legal service providers. John and Heidi. Now your scoop of the day. Have you ever heard of the Nissan Rogue? I think I have. Yeah, it's I don't. The, I couldn't tell you what it looks like. Right I don't off know. Top it's the my first head. U.S. car to offer sen- semi-autonomous driving. So they're mm. saying that this car will start driving for you. I just think that's a bad, bad, it's, bad idea. Especially when you read the next story. Nissan just suspended a bunch of car production in Japan. All car production after finding that several vehicle final checks were being carried out by uncertified inspectors at three of their plants. You're sending out cars that will drive on their own, but you're sending them out. Let me ask you this. If you have a self-driving car, can you no longer get arrested for driving while intoxicated? I doubt it because they're still going to say that it was up to you. So, no, I'm sure that's the But if you're not driving. Yeah. You can't just say, no, the car is driving itself. You're like, sir, this is a 1975 (laughs) Jeep. This this car was not driving itself. I thought thought it was. (laughs) It sure seemed like it. Pretty sure that's not going to be a good excuse. Hey, Google, by the way, they have these little self-driving cars already that are driving around like doing the Google Map stuff. Uh, they've been named the most influential website of all time by Time Magazine. Hmm. And here I was thinking our website was going to be. I think we were well, number we're two. right up there. Number two, maybe. Wait a minute. I don't know if I want to say that we're number two. <laughs> that, <laughs> that sounds bad. Uh, Facebook, speaking of websites, they're testing. And how did Facebook not get the most influential site? Over Google? People spend a lot more time on Facebook than they do on Google. I wonder okay, why. but influential? You waste a lot of time on Facebook, yeah. but on Google, you find all the stuff that you're looking oh, for, yeah, and you find maps, yeah. and I mean, literally everything. Okay. Well, back to Facebook. They're testing a new program that will charge news agencies to put their stories in the news feed. So now they're saying, hey, you want your news to get pushed out? We'll push it out for a fee. Mm. <laughs> How did I do for my sinister laugh? <laughs> Not good. Uh, guards at New York's Rikers Island Prison have been rewarding inmates with pizza parties for good behavior. That's nice. That is, but that's not really something you'd expect to hear coming from Rikers Island Prison because that's like a really mean. It, it, when you hear about when you hear about Rikers, don't you think of like big burly bad guys? Even big bad guys like pizza. Like I don't want to do that. Oh, you're going to give me pizza? Okay. I'll do that. <laughs> Can I have pepperoni? I can't even imagine. 
Will you have a little coyote deliver it to my table? <laughs> <laughs> what's the what's the one uh, Ch- Chuck E. Cheese? Maybe they get Chuck E. Cheese to bring it. I doubt it. Hey, eighty thousand people. Over 80,000 people attended West Virginia's annual base jumping festival at the New River Bridge. I would not do that. That is where people jump off a bridge. 80,000 people jumped off a bridge. I remember when I was a kid, my mom used to say, hey, if your friends jumped off a bridge, yeah. would you do it? In well, this case, 80,000 80, people, people yes. would. Yes, mom. Yes, I would jump off a bridge. I never Not heard me. such a thing. I would do it, probably, if my friends all did it. <laughs> I kidding. wouldn't. I don't care if my friends did it or not. Uh, coalition forces fighting ISIS militants in Syria have been instructed to kill them on the battlefield rather than taking prisoners now. Because they've been trying to take them prisoner and they've had all kinds of issues. And they just said, fine, you know what? Don't want the problems? Just kill them on the battlefield. That's no more awesome. problems. So. Love it. So uh, there, there you go. That's happening over in Syria. A new report claims North Korea is up to something. Says that they've been secretly manufacturing biological weapons. Okay, That's I don't think it's good. that secret, though. Everybody knows they're up to this stuff. Right now, there's a lot of scary stuff going on in the world. And for those of you who are, are people of faith, maybe just throw an extra prayer out there for the, the people on our side that are over there dealing with all this stuff. Not fun. Not fun at all. Stick around. We've got a guest coming up. And also on the way, we've got a lot more fun. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show on a Monday. John and Heidi. Your credit score really matters. When it comes to credit cards, home loans, and car loans, it makes a big difference in whether or not you qualify for the best rates or even get the loan. But did you know that your credit score can also affect the price when you get your insurance, too? Many people never even check their credit score. But sadly, errors happen all the time. CreditRepair800.com would like to help you repair your credit and make sure you have the best possible credit score. Get the details on how our program works at CreditRepair800.com. That's CreditRepair800.com. John and Heidi. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. We've got a special guest joining us right now. We have on the line Chef Neil Fusco, and he is with Cucina Antica. And he, we're going to talk about something that's happening this month. It's non-GMO month. How are you doing, sir? Good, good, good. So thank you for having me, John. Appreciate mm-hmm. it. So now when, when we're talking about GMOs, you hear this stuff in the news all the time. Uh, but what does that mean to be non-GMO? What does it mean for that? It just Does that mean it's better for you, or what does it mean? Uh, well, first of all, you're telling people what you're putting into your uh, product. That's number one. So, And I think the people deserve the right to know what they're getting. So uh, non-GMO, that means that the ingredients are non-genetically modified, uh, meaning that uh, they are what they are. Uh, they haven't been messed with, essentially. So uh, when you take a genetically modified organism, that basically is you're taking a a seed, a gene from a seed, and you're modifying it and by, you know, uh, introducing something uh, into it that's going to make it more resistant to, let's say, uh, drought, uh, uh, pestilence, uh, anything of that nature. Uh, but then, you know, uh, like, like that, you get uh, an effect of, like, maybe the weeds around, it'll get stronger as well. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. got all kinds of other effects. Um, and then again, it's just messing with the natural state of uh, of a plant, of a seed, and uh, turning it into something that you know we we don't quite know exactly what it's going to turn out to be. You know, very cool. So there are products on the shelf that we can see that'll say non GMO project verified. So that that means that that we know for sure whatever's in that bottle or package has no GMOs in it. That is correct. And uh, the butterfly is the most trusted label for. Uh, for, for to avoid GMOs. So basically, if you see the non-project verified, the little butterfly, okay, that is the symbol, okay, of the non-GMO project verified. So if you see that on a product, that, is, that means it has been verified uh, by the non-GMO project, okay? Gotcha. And we're almost done with October, but this is, uh, again, National Non-GMO Month, but you could celebrate this in November and December and year-round, couldn't you? Oh, uh, you celebrate it as life. That's what I say, you know? <laughs> Uh, I mean, really, it's the kind of stuff that you want to look for. Uh, basically, uh, products that are made with non-GMOs essentially are uh, the, the company, the product, uh, are telling you what you're getting. You know, you are, you are assured that you're getting a product that's not been messed with. You're getting its true, it's true ingredients um, from farm to table, essentially. And the non-GMO, non-GMO project verified, that was, um, it was kind of created around almost 10 years ago uh, by two big na- na- natural grocery chains. Um, and from there, you know, they've, uh, uh, they've verified uh, over 43,000 products um, and about over 3,000 brands. Uh, so they're on the move. You know, it's, uh, it's, 
it's a big industry. It's a nineteen billion dollar industry at this point, so it's growing ever and ever. Um, and it's the way to go. You know, it's really telling the people what they should know. And they have a right to know what they're eating and what they put into the system. And that's something that matters more to people today than maybe it has in the past because we're, we're more health conscious now. Absolutely, definitely. Uh, and uh, Cucina Antique, uh, our products, and you'll see them on our red sauce. So you'll see uh, the little uh, logo there with the non-GMO project verified. Um, you can find them in uh, Target, Amazon, Whole Foods. Uh, you look on the shelf, but we definitely stand out, man. You'll see that little butterfly flying right towards you. That's awesome. Now, let's talk a little bit about the company, uh, Cucina Antica. Uh, how long have you been with the company, or is that is it your company, or how long have you been there? Uh, well, I've been here 18 years. Uh, I, I founded it about 18 years ago, um, and we have a great team uh, that's ever working to uh, give, uh, make sure that we put out some awesome product um, that are good. And good for you. Well, that's really cool. Congratulations on the success, and it sounds like you've got some decent distribution because you're in companies that you know big big stores we've all heard of. Yeah, no, t- totally. Uh, you know, Whole Foods is one of my biggest supporters. Uh, you know, I I I, uh, I started with them over ten years ago, uh, maybe about ten, twelve years ago. Uh, just uh, basically, uh, I literally at that point I was making the sauce, delivering the sauce, demoing the sauce. Uh, I'm still doing some of that stuff today, so it's uh, not far fresh that you'll see me in the store uh, doing a demo, you know. Um, we stand behind our products, so we, we love what we do, we're proud of what we do. Uh, for us, it's not just about making a product, but we want to make a difference. That's really cool, and I think it's really neat that you that you put your heart and soul into this, and, and visiting ahead of time, he was kind of teaching me some words in Italian, so I was learning some Italian words. Uh, where are you originally from, uh, Chef Neil F- Fusco? Yeah. Uh, I'm from, uh, uh, if you're familiar with the Amalfi Coast and uh, the Vesuvius area, um, Pompeii, that's southern Italy, Naples, that's where I'm from. Uh, the, uh, actually, I was born right where uh, the famous world-renowned tomatoes are grown, the Samaritano tomatoes. I'm actually from that town where those tomatoes are grown. Uh, my family still farms the same tomatoes uh, over two, three hundred years with the family still growing the same kind of tomatoes. Uh, back in the south over there. That's really cool. And, and now it sounds like maybe a little bit of a New York accent in there. Are you living in the New York area now? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm actually, yes, I am from the, from the Bronx, actually, originally. Um, and uh, But we also have an office in the Dallas area. I'm actually in the Dallas office today. I know I don't sound like that southern guy, you know, but uh, <laughs> I sound more like the South Bronx guy. But <laughs> you you got to throw a y'all in every once in a while. <laughs> well, thank you so much uh, again. Our guest today, Chef Neil Fusco, and he is with Cucina Antica. Been talking today about October non GMO month. Now, where can we find you guys online if we want to learn more? Hey, go to Amazon and you'll find us there online. You go on our website, uh, you'll find us on the web as well. Uh, you find us uh, most stores nationally, uh, from the Whole Foods, Target, the same same ways. Uh, you can find us. Uh, look us up. Uh, if you want a good homemade sauce, truly made with uh, authentic ingredients and non-GMO ingredients, you got to look for that Cucina Antica and look for that butterfly. It's coming at you. Very cool. Well, thank you again, Chef Neil Fusco. We appreciate the time. Hey, John, man. God bless you and all that you do, okay? Thank you so much. Again, uh, our guest today, Chef Neil Fusco, and he is with Cucina Antica. And they are very happy to be non-GMO. And this is October non-GMO month. And if you'd like to know more, I'm going to throw a link on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. Are you paying a bundle to the cable company? Cut the cable and save with the all-new ChannelSurferTV.com. We've added several solutions that could save you money every month. We have Dish TV options and Internet TV solutions that start from just $20 a month. We even have an HDTV antenna for $30 to get the local channels with no monthly fee. Learn more at ChannelSurferTV.com. We'll do our very best to find the perfect TV solution for you. ChannelSurferTV.com. Movies and TV with a low monthly fee. That's ChannelSurferTV.com. John and Heidi. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The first webcam watched a coffee pot. Yeah. It was uh, the researchers at Cambridge. They put up a monitor so they could see what the coffee situation was like before they left their desk. <laughs> so, okay. And they're like, hey, we could use this for other things. So the very first webcam was nothing more than just monitoring the coffee. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? When asked if he knew the speed of sound, Einstein said he didn't carry much information in my mind since it's readily available in books. That's interesting. Huh. 
And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What was that, John? When Trump was elected, it was the first time a Republican was elected without a Nixon or a Bush on the ticket since 1928. So the first time the Republican Party won the presidential nominations, uh, or the presidential seat, rather, without a Bush or a Nixon since 1928. 28. How hmm. crazy is that? That is crazy. All right. A couple of fun facts brought to you by CreditRepair800.com. That's CreditRepair800.com. John and Heidi. Are you struggling with addiction or alcohol problems? If you're depressed, drinking, and using drugs, you may need help, and your insurance may offer coverage. I knew I could get myself out of this. I just needed some hope and some help. I took the first step to recovery when I made the call. Call the Addiction Hope and Helpline now for a free assessment with someone who cares. Call 800-438-0380. 800-438-0380. Now your weird word of the day. You ready for this, Heidi? Yes. It's pinchback. Pinchback. It's a noun. Something counterfeit or spurious. I think spurious could be the word of the day, too. The museum curator was surprised to find that the work in question was not an original, but a pinchback produced for tourists. Pinchback. Okay. I think pinchback is actually kind of a fun word. We should use that. So it just means it's a phony. So if there was like somebody pretending to be the hunchback of Notre Dame, would he be the pinchback of Notre Dame? Huh? 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 I suppose. See, there you go. See? I'm going to I'm going to see if I can star in the leading role for that pinchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> no. <laughs> you are just not easily amused today. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi show. John and Heidi. Here's Luca from Luca's Boutique. Tell us about the items we'll find at Luca's Boutique. We have 100% Italian design and Italian made leather goods, artisanally made by artisans, for example, that are commissioned by Gucci Prada to make bags. We use the same artisans because we know them. You'll love the fine Italian styles at Luca's Boutique, leather purses, belts, and more. Learn more at fineitalianstyles.com. This is Luca from Luca's Boutique, and we have fine Italian styles. Fineitalianstyles.com. Now some weird news for a Monday. Stephanie Dasko, age 34, violated her Walmart ban because, quote, the cake Walmart sells is too good to stay away from, end quote. Oh, my gosh. woman in Pennsylvania had a court-ordered ban at Walmart for a previous infraction. Then employees spotted her again. They contacted the police. Police asked her, why are you violating this no trespassing order? And she said, the cake at Walmart, uh, the cake Walmart sells is too good to stay away. She was given a no trespassing citation. So what was she doing? To I get have booted? no idea why she got. I Don't mean, they typically want people to come in? She must not have been buying the cake. She must have been like stealing the cake or doing something well, else. She's, she clearly was disrupting I just them don't somehow. Get it. She's 34 years young. You'd think you'd know better. I don't know. This is weird news, and that is definitely weird news. Brought to you by RadioSavings.com. Also, if you'd like to read the weird news, I've got a link to it at Facebook.com slash John and Heidi Show. Now your moment of duh. A group of Australian men were posing for photographs, and they were swimming in a baited crocodile trap near the scene of a fatal attack in Queensland. Oh, yeah, that's smart. They were apparently vying for Idiots of the Century Award. Local mayor was not too thrilled with that. He was the one that actually called them the Idiots of the Century. So the pictures show the men frolicking in the water and sitting in the mouth of the trap at the marina. Oh, my gosh. Not far. From where a 14-foot crocodile killed a 79-year-old woman just recently. Queensland's environmental minister, Stephen Miles, also expressed disbelief, tweeting the image with the message, Seriously? (laughs) The meat we put in these traps is bait for crocodiles. Don't swim in them. It's stupid and illegal. The men survived, and they've yet to be cited by authorities. So they're waiting to figure out exactly... I have a feeling they will be. What do we charge them with? Is it illegal to be an idiot? (laughs) Stupid. Yeah, I don't think so. All right. It's going to do it for your moment of duh. John and Heidi. 
your credit score really matters. When it comes to credit cards, home loans, and car loans, it makes a big difference in whether or not you qualify for the best rates or even get the loan. But did you know that your credit score can also affect the price when you get your insurance too? Many people never even check their credit score. But sadly, errors happen all the time. CreditRepair800.com would like to help you repair your credit and make sure you have the best possible credit score. Get the details on how our program works at CreditRepair800.com. That's CreditRepair800.com. Going to get some good news for you here in a minute. But first, Kid Rock is in the news because he says he's not really running for Senate. He says, I never really was. Everybody got all worked up because somebody asked if I was, and I said, yeah. What? Yeah, he I said, think he totally should. He would win. Uh, he says he's not really running for Senate, and I don't think he really wants to. Well, who so, wants those jobs? Well, it's a thankless know. job. It is. Honestly, But we is. do need people who are... I don't know if he's really... Senator Rock? I'm not sure. I don't know if that's a good idea. I I would vote for him. I, we watched. My, I mean, I my mean, wife the, and I the here. video of yeah. of the, what he was doing at a concert was absolutely ridiculous. But the stuff he was saying, I was like, it yeah. was it was like watching Idiocracy. It was. It seemed, and if you've that never seen really the movie, funny. watch the video of him giving his little speech. It was at a concert, and I think he was just doing it for show. But he was doing like a presidential type speech, and then watch Idiocracy when the president is speaking. It's the same. It's like the same speech. Yeah, right? it, it is. It's, but it's, it, it was, was pretty funny. interesting stuff. Anyway, and I I do like Kid Rock. I think he does seem like a nice guy. Oh yeah, I he think does. he seems. But but uh, I don't know if I could you know Senator Kid Rock. I don't know. It just, Why it would not? Be, I don't know. It would just be tough. Coming up, we've got some good news to get to. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with some good news. And I think this is kind of a cool story. My beautiful bride, Heidi, sent this to me. <laughs> you say that every day. Because I, I just think it's cool. <laughs> you deserve the credit for sending me cool stories like this. Uh, here's a headline. It says, this waitress's car was so bad, people thought it had been abandoned. But then she gets a tip that changes Check everything. out the picture of that car. That car does look pretty rough. <laughs> It's got saran wrap around the windows. I can't believe they strap, would even allow that on the road. Strap holding the hood down. Yeah. It looks, <laughs> in 2014, Cindy Grady was working as a waitress at a Cracker Barrel in Branson, Missouri, and she had a good reputation in the restaurant and got to know many of the regular patrons. Even though uh, enough, no, uh, let's try that again. Enough that they knew Grady wasn't in the greatest pl- place in life. They knew that she was a great lady in kind of a tough spot. And uh, her car, uh, we've I'm scrolling through here. I'm seeing images of it. It was in pretty. <laughs> pretty tough shape yeah. somebody said it was in laughable decrepit condition it that's not a horrible good one. but she uh the customers there at the restaurant absolutely loved her and uh it says here that it looked like somebody abandoned the car and one of the people in there said something's got to be done so late in december of that year uh these people that that really thought hey we need to do something about this came back and some other regulars too and they had her as their waitress. And when they were finished, she was pleasantly surprised to find that they'd left her a 30% tip. But her good mood didn't last long. The manager says, I need to see you right away. She was racking her brain thinking, what in the world happened? And when they got outside, it was even better than the 30% tip. In addition to that, they'd also brought her a car. How cool is that? Mm-hmm. Talk about a tip. So you can see the ent- entire story here. And it wasn't a brand new car by any means, but it's a nice car, $2,500 car. Uh, and it was a 2008 Ford Fusion. So, again, it's probably better than what we drive. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a good looking car. And Grady wasn't complaining that it was used. She says, I was totally shocked. I never thought in my wildest dreams that somebody would give me a car that it's nice. It's a very nice car. It for, is. And what did they say? 2500 $2, bucks? bucks? That's a no, but keep bargain. in mind, this was a few years back, too. So this story is not brand new. 
So uh, again, it's a great story. But if it was a few years back and they bought a 2008, that's a huge bargain. I don't care. I don't care what year it was. Yeah, absolutely. Well, again, it's a cool thing. And she says it was the best Christmas ever. So I've got a link to the story if you'd like to read it. Facebook.com slash John and Heidi Show. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Our good news comes your way courtesy of Luca's Boutique online at fineitalianstyles.com.